everyone and welcome to another The Jer Team video and today it's just me and I'm going to be showing you some redstone. So this is a redstone tutorial and we're going to start off with the basics of redstone. So firstly I'm just going to get some, yeah we're going to be using some repeaters first thing and I'm going to be showing you how those work. And yeah, we are, we'll also need a torch and we'll also need some dirt. Now, I'm not quite sure what happened to the world generation here. It seems to have derped a bit when I was generating a flat land, but, which is quite strange, but I'll make do. So, what I'm going to do is here is, for example purposes, I'm going to put down an iron door. So, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here and one here so here we have four iron doors now I'm g now going to link these up with redstone there we go now I'm going to take something back to here now I'm going to put some levers down so I'm going to put one here I'm going to knock it now you can see what happens the, well the way methods that redstone behaves like if we look down here a signal is being sent down here and it's catching this door so it works but if you look carefully you'll see that the further a red uh, the further redstone goes you'll see it gets dimmer until it, it's just normal until there's absolutely no pulse going from it so that's why these two oh that's why these two doors aren't working because um, the red it's too long it's been too many blocks and the redstone's kind of worn out and it's not stretching that far so you might be wondering how we fix it well we can actually use repeaters because repeaters kind of you could say they kind of reset this amount because what they do what they do is they kind of ex one of the purposes of them is that they can extend the different um, extend the distance so now that I've put that repeater in, you see we have a very uh, strong signal again back here. It's fading slowly around here, but yeah. And there we see that we have all of those doors set up correctly. Now, something else that you can do with repeaters is that you'll see that they kind of have a little, like, well, I'm not quite sure what to call it, maybe a meter there, where you can, where if you right-click on them, you'll see that it adjusts appropriately. So what I'm going to try doing now is put a delay on this. So I'm going to place quite a few repeaters next to each other. And now I'm going to right click three times to make it the highest amount of delay on each one. Now that I've done that I'm going to replace this uh, with a button. And let's see how this works. So I'm just going to put a button here. And now if I push this the pulse goes along each of these and then opens and then closes it because that's what buttons do so now you'll notice that when I put these repeaters down when I click on it one two three and then three seconds later about you'll see that well they open after a delayed amount of time so you can see another um, another way that you can use repeaters now I'm now going to go into something a little bit more advanced and I am actually going to make a redstone loop. Now this is one of the few methods that you can use to actually make an infinite redstone loop and this pretty much allows you to have the doors open and close and open and close. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of all this And what I'm going to do is I am going to first place a grass block. You'll need some redstone torches for this. This pr pretty much emits redstone. And you're going to have to place it on the block like that. Not not like that. Not, not standing on alone. It's got to be attached to the block. And what we're going to do here is that we are going to have some redstone going off here. Now, the, now I'm going to put some red redstone repeaters here going along here and to back into the dirt so now this will pretty much decide every, how uh, the duration as to the doors opening and closing really so I'm just going to put one here 
I'm going to put quite a few of them going along here just to make just so it doesn't all lag out and spaz around just so it's just so it's delayed so yeah I'm going to right click on all of these again to make sure they have the maximum delay again the, the further down I should say the meter is the slower it'll be so you can kind of choose and now that we've done that I'm going to have this go round here I'm going to have, I am um, just to increase the delay a little, in fact no I won't, I'll just have the delay running up here and now at this point, right before the dirt block, I'm not quite sure if it's necessary but it sh I, I assume it is, and now you'll see that this side is lit and then it goes across here and once it's fully gone across there it goes back. Now I should really explain to you the logic of this, now what, what really is happening is that when this block gets a redstone pulse coming from here and through this repeater it'll turn off but that then goes through here and that turns off but then that turns back on again so then it goes around here and turns that off again and so you see it builds an infinite redstone loop so now just to demonstrate this really I'm now going to put a I'm now going to ha attach from here uh, not attached from this block, you have to do it attached from redstone. Um, oh yeah, something I forgot to mention is that um, these repeaters, they will only go one way. So they will, like, if I place it that way, if and if I say, if I have that there, and the door there, you'll see if I go that way, it works. But if I replace this with one, and then I put a door here, it won't work. They only go one way. So that means that it won't it doesn't go it doesn't go sideways. It won't it, it just ignores that it it won't it'll only go one way. So you have to remember that when doing your redstone circuitry. So anyway what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place oh god I'm going to place oops sorry I'm going to place dirt block here. Okay, so I'm going to place a few repeaters here. I don't really need to. It's just to give it a little bit more delay and to help it out a bit. I'm going to put one here just to be sure. Go around here. Now you'll see that these doors are open and then they will close again. So let me just get rid of some of these torches to, to kind of demonstrate this a little better. I'm now going. I'm just going to get rid of a few of these. There we go. There we go. So you see that those doors are now opening and closing by themselves. Now, we can actually use repeaters to delay this. If you click here, and I can put like one of these delays here. Now you'll see that they'll kind. They should kind of do what, kind of like a Mexican wave, really. What um, what we would call it. But yeah, if I just put these here, you'll see that they kind of ripple. Like the one at the right side opens first and then they ripple across like that. So they're not all opening at the same time and that's uh, a way that you can use delays. Now there is a little problem that I've noticed with using this loop which you may find that happens. Sometimes when when you like just logged on or the server that you've on rest ha has restarted um, sometimes you can find that they, they kind of lag out and when the chunk isn't loaded and they kind of get stuck here or either side they can get stuck where the pulse is there when it shouldn't be so sometimes you might have to sometimes that is a problem with doing these kinds of loops although what you can do is you can have um, yeah you, could, you can have that there now right what we can do is you can also I in fact, no, never mind. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped you. Um, we started off with the um, basics of redstone repeaters and we moved on to some uh, loops. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And goodbye for now.